guys, in this video we'll be looking up how to set up camera control. The first thing to mention is that I've carried over what I did in the previous video to set up lighting, uh, just, to, just to have some sort of stuff sitting here that you guys uh, can look at when I'm rotating the camera around it, or looking around the scene with the camera. So I don't have anything imported yet, I've only manually created using game object, create other, uh, directional light, point light, cube, sphere and plane. They're the only things that I've made in the scene. And I've left the default camera sitting here. So, what you'll notice is that if we hit play, we can see everything in the scene, but you know, you can't move the camera around. You, ne you need some sort of interactivity for it to become interesting. So what we can do is import a script, a default script for Unity, that lets us uh, orbit the camera around an object. Sort of like how SketchUp, 3ds Max and Maya let you orbit around the model. So click on Assets, Import Package and Scripts. All of these checkboxes sh should be ticked by default, so all you need to do is click Import and wait a little while and the script will compile and then it'll be added to your project tab you know, under standard assets, scripts, camera scripts. The one that we want to use is mouse orbit. So how we add this to the camera is by selecting the camera either in the hierarchy tab here or you can just click on it in the scene and you'll see in the, the inspector tab that, um, you know, you've got a camera here, tagged main camera, or, or something along those lines. And what you can do to add this script is go to the Projects tab, and click and drag the script up to the inspector, and then let go. And it'll appear at the end of your um, list of components for this camera, the one called Mouse Orbit. So, um, the next step we need to follow to set up this particular script is to give it a target to orbit around, otherwise it doesn't know the point it should rotate about. You know, the point could be this sphere, it could be that cube, it could be the plane, it could be a point two kilometers off to the left. You know, the, the script doesn't know that until we tell it. So what we'll do is we'll make it rotate around this cube here. Now the way we do that is similar to how we attach the script to the camera. You select the camera, either in the scene or in the hierarchy tab, and then you can find the object that you want it to uh, have as a target. So we'll just click on one of these cubes, click and drag it over to the target variable, and you'll see it highlight like this, then let go. And now its target is the, this cube, and to double check which one you selected, you can click once on that uh, the variable and you'll see it highlight over in the hierarchy tab. So you can click on it and find out, yes, that's the right cube or, or whatever. <coughs> so now, now we've set up our camera um, so it can orbit around this cube. So if I hit play, wait a second for it to pop up, if we move the mouse around, you'll see that we're orbiting around this object. The, cent the cube is at the center of our view the whole time. Moving the mouse left and right rotates it left and right, and moving the mouse up and down rotates it up and down. And a, a handy little thing with this script is that it limits how far up and down you rotate around the object, so there's no chance that you'll accidentally flip over it and, you know, have the camera upside down in the scene or anything like that. So it's great if you want to do something like have an object sitting on a desk that you can look at and orbit around while it's animating or something like that. Now, the other simple way to get uh, a camera moving around in the scene is to use one of the scripts that comes with the character controller uh, asset. So what I'll do is I'll remove this mouse orbit script from this camera by selecting the camera hovering over the title of this component, you can right click and click remove component and that'll get rid of it. Uh, you can do that to remove any component by the way except for I think a transform 
which has to be there by default. Um, so what we'll do now is we'll import another asset, assets import package character controller, and just click import. We'll wait a little while for the scripts to compile and all that sort of stuff. And a new folder appears under the project tab. So if we expand this one, we'll see it's got two prefabs, um, a third person controller and a first person controller. And if we expand sources and scripts, we'll see a script called mouse look, which lets you set the rotation of an object by moving the mouse around. <coughs> And most of the time you'll you'll be doing that um, for a camera. So the, we'll we'll apply the script to the camera the same way. Make sure the camera is selected, then click and drag the script from the project tab over to the inspector tab, and let go. And uh, the the difference with this script as well is that it, you don't need to tell it what object to rotate around because it's rotating around the camera's position. Uh, rather than a position that's somewhere else that it doesn't know about. So this script is actually good to go from the start. So we'll move the camera over into the scene, somewhere, you know, kind of interesting, maybe like right in the middle. And then we'll get the camera to uh, turn around when we hit play. So up and down is controlled by moving the mouse up and down, and left and right is controlled by moving the mouse left and right. And yeah, that's that's a good way to get a point of view, like a first person point of view in a level. Um, and matter of fact, these the the first person controller prefab just down here uh, uses that uh, this script to to let you look around. So I'll just stop. Uh, playing and yeah that that pretty much covers the basics of how to make a camera look around without needing to get too much into scripting or anything like that at all